y'all we gonna finish this video if it if it y'all know what i'm trying to say if it mm, us i don't like i don't want to say it but we gonna finish we gonna get this we gonna get this video done and finished um just a few few small uh things i had to do though um before a certain time but just to recap with you guys i've been talking about how to become more of yourself right and i'm giving you guys three ways of how to become more of yourself why do you want to become more of yourself because yourself is your purpose you are your purpose if you're looking for your if you're looking for your purpose if you're somebody that's just like i'm seeking my purpose i'm trying to find what i'm here for you are it your purpose is your function you're trying you you you're looking to find you what you do who you how you're created you you're looking for your function god is the creator and we are the product we're looking for what our function produces who we are produces and that's what he means by be fruitful what fruit do we produce that's for another video but to bring it back home to this one i gave you i'm giving you guys three ways to become more of yourself the first one is you want to get to know god and have an understanding of god for yourself in order to become more of yourself two you want to separate yourself in order to give yourself time to heal from all the heal and deprogram yourself from all the ways that aren't yourself that aren't like you all right and that takes separation time uh and detachment from the world and three is obedience i started this out in my second video but i'm going to summarize it and finish it up for you guys here the third thing you want to do is obey do the things god is telling you to do do the things god is telling you to do do the things that is in your heart this typically becomes more evident of what god wants us to do the more we're in our the more we heal the more we become more of ourselves the more we do number two the more we separate ourselves from the world and others and things that aren't like us and become more of ourselves the more we can be able to discern and notice what god is telling us to do what he's telling us to do because specifically what he tell me to do is not what he's going to tell somebody else to do all the time it's sometimes a specific instruction that god gives to everybody and in order to be more of ourselves we have to obey and obedience i wrote it down here right obedience what that does is it produces the evidence of yourself it produces the fruit of you so you being yourself and doing what god calls you to do produces the evidence the fruit the actual tangible fruit of you being your self you being your kind if you're producing good fruit if you're producing good evidence if you're producing what god if you're doing what god tells you to do you're becoming more of yourself. O obedience, obedience, dis no disobedience, right? Separates us from ourselves. Disobedience, sin, it separates us from ourselves. But if you want to become more and more of yourself, you have to do the things more and more that God tells you to do. Because He's not going to, like I said earlier, He's not going to tell you something to do that's not you that's not for you but this is why our second key is our second key is important is because we have to be able to discern we have to heal in order to be able to discern who's telling us what to do is it god is it trauma is it what voice is this right so those are the three things in order to become more of yourself get to know god have allow god to purify you separate you set you apart in order to heal restore your soul your mind your will and your emotions so that you are able to discern his voice and know 
your function, more of your function, right? And then three is obey. Do it. Do it. It doesn't, nothing means nothing if it ain't getting done. Nothing means nothing if nothing is getting done. If I can't see it, if I, if you're not producing it, what's the point? God needs our obedience. I'm not going to say needs, but he requires, he demands our obedience. He produced us to be, he created us to be obedient. We're his living servants, his sacrifice. We have to do what we're called to do. We have to be who we're created to be. I hope all of this is making sense, y'all. Um, I just thank God and I bless God for this message because this morning because it just unlocked and revealed so much about so many of the questions that I've been having in my heart and in my mind. And I really believe like it's something I've been searching for for a very long time. Um, unconsciously, right? I've been looking for my purpose in things, like I said, outside of me and relationships and people, um, attaching myself to just things in this world that are not for me. They're not who I'm called to be. I'm, I'm replicating myself in a way that's and producing fruit in a way that isn't from my tree. When I say tree, I mean my core. All right. So this is something I have been unconsciously searching for for a very long time. And now that I've been intentional about finding it, I've noticed how I've been here the whole time. Like everything that's getting exposed and revealed and God is snatching the cover off of is like, dang, it's been here the entire time. Why? Because I've been here the entire time, but I've been wrestling with this world. I've been wrestling with what was progr- what I programmed, what I downloaded in my mind. I've been wrestling with the opposing forces. I've been wrestling with the enemy. And we all wrestle, we all fight, but we have the victory, right? We have the victory and the victory comes in knowing and having an understanding of who you are, who God is, and what you're supposed to be doing. That is, that's it. That's it. That's, that's the victory right there. Knowing who you are, who God is, and knowing who God is and why you're here. That's the victory right there. Because if not, if you don't know those things, the enemy will keep you in a web of cycles that keep repeating. You keep finding yourselves on dead end paths. That was me. That was me, y'all. And those dead end paths could be um, deadly to your your purpose, your calling, because God... God doesn't create nothing for nothing. So I, we, we're we not created for nothing. We are created for a real thing. And the enemy's job is to keep us from knowing what that real thing is. So I encourage y'all to get um, serious about those three things. Knowing who you are. Knowing who God is. Having an understanding who God is for yourself. And... Um, knowing what your function is that way you you can choose to show up as yourself you can choose to you have the choice you have the choice not to show up as you have the choice to not show up as a dysfunction or um a result of what may have happened to you you have the choice to throw off the things that don't speak to you that don't speak to your core all right and protect and guard your heart. I know I mentioned that in the last video. So be intentional about protecting and guarding your heart. What is that? Your 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 core. That's your innocence. That's your function. Be intentional of protecting that. All right. I pray this much as blesses somebody because it blessed me, y'all. I love y'all. Like I said, this is day three. three. Day three of the 31 day challenge of July of becoming the best version of yourself. If you want to join join comment let me let me know below what your 31 day challenge is start today i don't care if it's day three start today i don't care if it's day 30 i don't care if it's day 31 start today at least start thinking about 
what is the challenge that you can give yourself to become the best version of yourself all right i love y'all and i'll talk to y'all soon